everybody how's it going today thanks for watching another video i'm in our north hay shed here we've uh, started getting in some uh, grass hay bales here the last few days and some uh, big squares of grass hay so we put the big squares here on the south side got one line of straw on the outside and then uh, a couple lines of, of uh, square bales we had to stack these here the other way because we couldn't quite fit inside the post this this hay shed so the these bays are all 24 feet wide but this end bay is 20 so normally you can get three squares side by side in here but not in the end bays so we've got them stacked like this so we can get it as full as possible i think they're going to bring one more i think they've got one load of uh, squares of grass left we uh, get these squares from the same uh, farmers that make baleage for us so they always bale a uh, little bit of grass hay also and then these rounds of grass here these are coming from uh, north of us from somebody that we've uh, from a farmer that we've been buying this grass hay from for quite a few years now just pra prairie grass so we uh, we feed these grass hay bales to our close-up dry cows so we've got about 300 bales of uh, round bales coming and a little over I think it was like 140 bales of squares so that uh, and we feed about a bale a day so that should uh, get us close to uh, where we need we did have some carryover from last year also I think we have uh, 30 bales left or so from last year so yeah I'd like to feed some of this uh, grass hay to our close-up dry cows coming with a few loads here after lunch today and then it sounds like they have uh, maybe two loads left after that two to three we'd ordered 300 the field that they uh, get these off of there's some cattails in there we don't really like to have too many cattails in here because cows don't eat cattails so sometimes we'll sort some out or they'll sort some out on the field as they're loading them can that uh, take a look at the south hay shit they're kind of getting that cleaned up to uh, start getting straw bales in also in the south hay shed here now got a couple uh, pieces of equipment stored in here my dad just uh, put this wall up here on the north side because we had fed fed that row of squares up so we put some of last year's straw there actually so that was two year old straw that was uh, sitting there before and then we're we're feeding off of this bay here of uh, big squares and this so open area that's empty here this is going to be uh, round bales of straw that we'll be putting in here there's one bay on the south side of the hay shed here that we'll be putting big squares in. So we have a few bales of carryover from last year, so we won't be purchasing as many squares, but round bales, we just used our last round bales for bedding here a few days ago. So uh, yeah, we're using squares for bedding at the moment, but prefer to use rounds. But it sounds like uh, we'll be uh, getting some of those in here pretty quickly also. We have like to clean up the loose straw in here, if, uh, level it off a little bit if we need to, but it, overall the shed looks like it's in pretty good shape. Just have to move this equipment out once we do start getting uh, some bales in. They should be here uh, any minute here with uh, round bales of uh, grass hay. And then we'll uh, start unloading those and uh, stacking them in the shed.
stacking those two loads. Sounds like there's about three loads left or they're gonna bring three loads anyways. I think that gets us to right around 300 bales. It's gonna be close. I think we'll be able to get all of them inside here. We can fit two more lines in the front here it looks like so I think we'll be real close to getting uh, all those bales in here. I was hoping to also get the 30 or 40 that we have left from last year in here. I'll well, see if we can get those in here. Looks like it'll be, uh, we'll be right there, get it full here. And then this, this side of the shed here, we're gonna put the small square bales. I haven't talked to uh, Trevor here lately, but I'm sure he'll start bailing those here pretty quickly as well. So start starting to get some uh, hay and straw in. And, uh, Hopefully we can uh, get all that wrapped up before we get into silage. That's the uh, that's the idea, anyways. We like to feed this grass hay to our close-up dry cows. It's, uh, we could feed them straw also, but grass is a little more palatable for them. Tastes a little bit better. Try to get those cows to eat as uh, as much as possible of their ration. We do feed uh, on occasion. We do feed grass hay to our uh, far-off dry cows also, but. Uh, at the moment we're feeding them the barley silage along with straw. We could also feed them uh, 
grass hay with straw, but just the way the way uh, things are working out now with the feed inventories we have, it'll just be uh, fed to our close-up dry cows, this grass hay. If you guys have any uh, questions, comments, uh, post them down below. Try to answer them if I can, and uh, I think I'll end this video here. Appreciate you guys watching, and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.